Hello everyone and welcome to a new vlog, New Ireland vlog. I am currently in Galway actually with Kevin. Yeah, we are here for the night, so we're actually in a hotel room. I'm very excited because obviously never been to Galway before. And it's quite exciting so far. And we're basically going to obviously go around the city, go to some pubs, go to the Christmas markets tonight, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's going to be stunning. And I'm very excited. I have my gingerbread latte, which I absolutely am obsessed with. Oh, I'll show you around the hotel room. Sorry, hotel room. <laughs> oh, also, it's absolutely freezing. But, you know. That was expected, but anyway. Okay, so firstly, the view. So, oh, we've got someone there. Interesting. Okay, yep. Sorry. Stunning bin moment. Then we have the TV. These are our beds. So, obviously, Kevin will be there. I'm here, and very easy to just get Kevin in the night. <laughs> Here's the mirror. Closet. Bathroom. No fence, Vegas. Thank you. Okay, so this is my outfit for today. So, eee! I nearly fell over, yep, that's okay. So we have my gloves moment. Exactly. Um, I've honestly wanted to wear these gloves for years because I got them ages ago from my mum and like, obviously it's not like too cold in Australia so like it's not usually needed. So, anyway, my brown coat, this like play suit thing, just my classic black boots. And this mask is actually so cool because it's like a little chain moment and you can easily like put it on. <laughs> and it's then, so fun, yeah. And then when you're not wearing it, you can clip it. And then it's just like around your neck. So easy access. Angles, pose, model, work the runway. Very uh, limited space in here, <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> no offense. I'd like to report a crime. Kevin is annoying me. Oh. You better watch yourself. I'll find a weapon in here. What weapon? Did you pack something? <laughs> I dare you to go up to him. Yes. Oh, he hates you. Oh, Kevin and I ain't going. What kind of retreat in that photo? Oh, yeah. Where was I? Eyes no, your eyes closed. And I'm like... no. <laughs> Look at the first. Did you know that fear is the mind killer? That is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life.
Look how magical. The noise is a bit annoying because they're kind of putting up some lights. Um, I don't understand why because it's, like it's Christmas week. So what's the point of putting up more Christmas lights now? It's a bit late, isn't it? Sleepover. <laughs> no. Okay, turn the light off for a second. No, you're going to do it. No, no, no. I just, I just want to see if you can see us not in the darkness. No, you're not going to do it. No, no, I'm really not. I'm going to turn it off. Because I love you, but I know you're going to do it. Uh, I knew it was going to I knew it was going to uh, <laughs> Did not like that. I don't have a hand normal without a glove. The duality of a hand. Yeah. Oh, wow. That looks like a little swan. <gasps> that is a swan. Oh, oh wait. That's a swan. Oh. Hey everyone. <laughs> Kevin and I have woken up. It's the next day. Well, the elevation the progress. <laughs> wow. She said a silly good one. Kevin and I have woken up, gotten ready. Just gonna have my chill vibes today. We're going to head home, but first we're gonna spend a little bit a little bit more time and go away, lads. So we're gonna go to the cafe. We're gonna maybe go to the bookstore again. You just never know. And then we're gonna catch a train. Exactly. So Kevin and I are back from Galway and oh I was gonna say we're matching pajamas, we're not because Kevin's not wearing them, but I'm wearing my pajamas yeah, that <laughs> Kevin got me these as part of my Christmas present, so they're really cute with the penguins. I just painted Kevin's nails, so he has his nails on for the first time. So stunning, and we can do this and it's a well sorry, don't judge my movement right now because it's kinda of still drying. But we can do that and have a stunning movement. And yes, yeah, so I did a red, Kevin did a black. <laughs> That was a stunning move, for a second. Like, so I do it again. <laughs> 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 you, you, you tried. <laughs> so I just went with a stunning blah. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> this is a fun vibe. <laughs> Very fun. And I read more window shopping on the train. And it's really fun. Oh, and I, I bought some books, but I'll show you that tomorrow because I'm not bothered right now. Hello. So, it's been a few days and we are back from Galway and we've just been doing lots of like chilling editing that vibe. But I bought some books when I was in Galway and I don't know if I've already mentioned, but I was trying to like not buy any books because, you know, limited suitcase space. But we went into a few stunning bookstores and I was like, you know, sh oh, I can get some like small paperbacks. So I ended up getting <laughs> six books. But you just accept it. So first I got Homebody by Rupi Kaur. I personally love Rupi Kaur's writing. So I'm very excited about this. This collection specifically focuses on the body. So it says after feeling disconnected for so long my mind and body are finally coming back to each other. Love that. Especially because this year has definitely been a huge journey for my personal like body acceptance and all that. It's definitely like more of like the modern poetry and some people really don't vibe that. But I personally really love Rupi Kaur's simplistic yet powerful poems. Then I got some more poetry. I got Ariel by Sylvia Plath and Caitlin actually told me to get this. So we're gonna do a buddy read moment. It sounds stunning because on the cover it literally says, I rise with my red hair and I eat men like air. 
Thank you. Then I got Lies by Deren Negrifa, who is an Irish author. And this actually has poems written in Irish. And then it has the English translation on the other side. So absolutely love that. And it says, when does a poem tell the truth? When is it a lie? Intimate moments carefully reappraised, first dates, breakups, young parenthood, etc., are the raw material of these vivid and wholly engaging poems. Also, love the cover. Then I got Shoko Smile, and I had never actually heard of this, but I saw firstly the cover, I was like, oh. And then it said the best-selling story collection from South Korea's brightest literary star. So this is by Choi Yun Young. This sounds really amazing because it says that this collection explores the joys and heartbreaks of human relationships as they blossom and wither, largely following the nuanced relationships of women between friends, lovers, and family. The stories are a microscopic, almost obsessive study of the complex emotions at the heart of personal interactions. Absolutely love anything that explores that. So very excited. I honestly might start this soon because it is a collection of stories, so. Maybe I could just read a short story every now and then, you know? Then I got Beauty and Sadness by Yusunari Kawabata. And I saw this cover and I was like, oh, that's a really fun cover. And then I read the back. I think this is a classic. And it says, on a nostalgic New Year journey to Kyoto, Oki, a middle-aged novelist, seeks out the mistress he had an abandoned some 20 years earlier. And this is supposed to be an erotic study of love and jealousy. And it's very short. Also, this is one euro. And on the inside, it's really fun. It says Galway 79. So this is a used edition. And obviously, this will always remind me of my Galway time. So very happy to have this. And hopefully, I love it. And then lastly, I got The Cost of Living by Deborah Levy. I was like, that cover is stunning. This is nonfiction. And then I showed Caitlin face. I'm just like, oh, I have that. And she read it and she loved it. So very excited. I think I'm gonna love it too. It's basically like a memoir vibe. And on the back it says, to separate from love is to live a risk-free life. What's the point of that sort of life? Very excited about my new books. What was I gonna say? But yeah, pen Penny. But yeah, Kevin and I are actually going ice skating tomorrow, so very excited for that, and then we're getting close to Christmas soon. But I haven't been ice skating in ages, so yeah, honestly, Kevin and I will do a race, maybe, like... Oh. <laughs> That'd be funny. Little scary moment, like, will I die? Will I hurt myself? Who knows? We'll find out. Gonna go ice skating! We are in Smith's, which is a huge toy store. Look at the Sylvanian family collection. Oh. <gasps> this is the chill box that the Caitlin box. Oh, this is something. I'm here with Kevin's goddaughter, and honestly, I think I'm more excited than she. She's like, NA, let's go. <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding? <laughs> Steps, y'all. You didn't see that I was trying to like, like pretend yeah, to fish. Yeah, I got it. It's very It's Christmas Eve, and we have the stunning tree, which I've probably shown him multiple times, but it's just so stunning. Like, look at it. Credit to Kevin and Jim <laughs> for decorating it. And look at all the presents. And I'm also here with Denise. Hello. <laughs> who is Kevin's cousin. And we all have our matching pajamas. So very stunning. No. We're watching The Grinch <laughs> and having a stunning, cozy Christmas time. So we currently have our face masks on. We are going to have a, f a Christmas Eve Fortnite moment. Exactly, Christmas Eve, Vic Roy inbound. Well, there's only one person left by. <gasps> Stay strong. I think it's the Christmas tree right now. What? I thought you kissed them. I mean, <laughs> kissed. I thought you killed them. It's the Christmas tree weirdo, Chloe. This is you versus Christmas till the Christmas Eve. I think they got me because I have no shield. No, you can't have that attitude. Yeah. Exactly. 
That was stunning. Hello. So we are currently at Bunradi Castle. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Hmm. Yes. And it's my birthday. So Kevin surprised me with this stunning trip. And we get to see the castle. And it's going to be stunning. And we'll see where that's all we get. <laughs> oh, peaks. Hello, good sir. Very creepy Santa. You're beginning to make class. This is the one. Mommy, I'm going to be learning classic Irish linger. If you want to ask someone how to become me, say, what is a crack class? <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that, sir? Repeat what I said, please. What's the crack class? Everyone, what's the crack class? <laughs> Like ball right there. Yeah. Very different to the Sydney beaches, but very stunning in its own way. And Kevin is a bit nervous. It's a bit cold. <laughs> Kevin is always complaining about the cold, even though he's the Irish one who lives here. Oh, Kevin, not sure about that. <laughs> okay, like maybe like a hug or like kiss, even if you no. want to. Oh. <laughs> okay, like, oh, like a cute, yeah, like a <laughs> like, yeah. Exactly. Who's a photographer? Oh, like, leg, like, up a leg moment. Cliffs of Moher. How you say? Cliffs of Moher, yeah. Cliffs of Moher. And look, you might recognize this iconic scene, including two people standing on that little rock in the Half Blood Prince.
What is it? It's just a bit of water, right? <laughs> Hello. So, it is currently the 30th of December. I've definitely been slacking with the vlogging, but I wanted to update you on a few things. Firstly, I just finished Party Favors. This is a So Over the Holidays novella. So basically, this author has written multiple holiday novellas that are part of the series, but they can be read as standalones. And this one was around New Year's, which is why, obviously, perfect time to read it. And it was so cute because it was a female female romance and basically it's about these two girls who have been online besties for years and they finally meet up in person and spend new years together and obviously they fall in love and it's very cute so i'm definitely going to be reading more books by this author at the end it says that you can check out the other books in the so over the holiday series for some more queer raunchy fluffy holiday fun so very excited i gave it four stars it definitely was super cute and at times it had potential to be five stars because i just really loved them but there were definitely times where i was taken out of the story because of the cringy writing so for example <laughs> i think there was one point where i was like i'm bisexual oh my god samesies <laughs> but yeah very very, very stunning romance and just loved them. I had such a big smile reading it. Definitely recommend that, especially if you're looking for more female, female stunning romance. And I also finished Know My Name by Chanel Miller, which is the audiobook that I was listening to. I loved it. Five out of five stars. Highly recommend it if you can read it. It was definitely one of my favorite books that I've ever read. Like, I need to get a physical copy. Just stunning. Oh, also, I didn't really vlog on Christmas Day, but Kevin did. So if you want to see more of that footage, you should definitely check his vlog out. But I just want to quickly talk about the gift that he gave me because it's so stunning. It is this clatter ring, which is a traditional Irish ring. The hands represent friendship, the heart represents love, and the crown represents loyalty. And I am obsessed. Like, isn't it stunning? And it's the perfect fit as well. And actually, I was originally going to stay until the end of January, but unfortunately, my trip has had to be shortened because the COVID situation is really getting stressful. Like, it's really getting bad in Ireland, really getting bad in Australia. So I just need to get home to make sure that I'm all good and safe at home. And yeah, it's obviously annoying, but I am thankful that I was even able to come at all. And we have had lots of good moments and we've been able to explore Ireland and everything. There definitely are other places I would have loved to go to, but you know, COVID definitely hates us. <laughs> but once again, very lucky that I was even able to do. I think I've been here for like three weeks now. Yeah. Yeah, like three weeks, that's stunning. And I'm leaving on the third. So we still have like a week. So, you know, I still got to be here for like nearly a month. You know, I wanted to go to Trinity College. I don't think we'll be able to because it's closed. And also the weather hates us because it's raining. Apparently it's the duck weather right now. So, yep. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm actually going to be spending my last days at Kevin's house like we're not really gonna go out and explore because well maybe like outdoor but we'll see because of also the weather we just want to be careful with the whole COVID situation so you know it's probably smart to just stay inside so hopefully gonna do lots of reading Fortnite etc yep 